Rock and Pop Stories. Blondie Rapture, 1980. More than just a song, Rapture is an event with far-reaching consequences. Let's put ourselves in context, at the crossroads of the 70s and 80s. In New York, where the band originated, new music had two geographical poles. In Manhattan, clubs like CBGB resonated with punk and new wave, where Debbie Harry and her band forged their reputation. In the Bronx, another revolutionary music was born, rap. But Debbie and guitarist Chris Stein founders of Blondie, had one important quality. They were curious and had no musical blinders on. It was Fred Brathwaite, known as Fab Five Freddy, who initiated them by taking them to a block party in the Bronx. There, the two rockers were fascinated by the work of MCs improvising over instrumentals of existing songs. In fact, it was Debbie and Chris who took Sheik's Nile Rogers to one of these parties, where he discovered that his good times was one of the most frequently used songs by MCs. It was also on this occasion that they met one of the first masters of the genre, Grandmaster Flash. Finally, it was Fab Five Freddy who jokingly told them, you should do a song with rap. For their fifth album, Auto American, recorded in California, Stein and Harry wrote Rapture, a track that obviously plays with the word rap. The first version is slower than the one we know, so they put it aside, work on the rest of the album, then come back to Rapture, speed up the tempo and keyboardist Jimmy Destry, who noticed tubular bells lying around the studio, had the idea of using them, giving Rapture its hypnotic ambience. Much has been made of Debbie Harry's flow and the slightly ridiculous lyrics, but it's easy to forget that the first rap lyrics were also a bit facile. The only thing that counted was the rhythm of the flow. When Debbie and Chris sent Rapture to Fab Five, Freddy before the single's release, he was very enthusiastic. The public was equally enthusiastic, released as a single on January 12th, 81. Rapture reached number one in the United States and spread across the planet. The video was the first rap video to be shown on MTV, filmed in Manhattan's East Village and featuring brief appearances by Fab Five Freddy and even Jean-Michel Basquiat. The enormous success of Rapture provoked a huge curiosity about rap, with famous rappers such as Wu-Tang Clan telling Debbie that they had discovered rap thanks to Rapture. A few months later, Tina Weymouth's Tom Tom Club, Talking Heads bassist, followed suit with wordy rapping hood. But that's another rock and roll story or rap story. 